Hey, what is up, you guys? Um, I am back with another Friday favorites. I know I missed out last week, but I am here now to let you know what my favorites are. Um, as if you guys you know, really cared, but whatever. We're gonna go with it. Um, I have a lot of makeup stuff. Um, because I missed out, you know, last week. So I kind of have like last week and this week kind of all together in one glorious thing. Um, and then I have like a fragrance favorite and I think that's everything. Um, but yeah, this, for, well, and I like my nails. Do you guys like them? They're very sparkly and I just did them today. So I guess that can kind of be a favorite. I can let you know how I got them done. Um, I just layered this L'Oreal nail polish in Tangerine Crush and then put this Sally Has Hansen Luster Shine polish over it. I'm rambling. I should have not even... Blech. Okay, let's get started into the favorites. Um, the first thing that I'm going to just show you is the fragrance. This week I've been wearing uh, the Pink Sweet and Flirty fragrance. Um, this is a mixture of sugarberry and pink grapefruit, and it smells like super sweet and fruity, and just all around good, um, you know, all around flirty, I guess. Um, uh, and yeah, that's what I've been wearing for since. So now you guys know what I've been smelling like for the past week. Isn't that kind of creepy? Um, but yeah, let's hop into the makeup, which is like the my favorite part of these videos. Um, the first being this That Gal Brightening Face Primer from Benefit. I'm sorry, the lighting is kind of bad. Hopefully, you can actually see the product. Um, but, yeah, I have had this for a really long time, and it is one of those things that it just kind of got pushed to the back of my makeup drawer because I thought, like, oh, you know, I really don't need a primer. I'll just, you know put my foundation on. The foundation that I've been loving though is a powder foundation. It's the one from Tarte. I'm sure I've showed it to you before. Um, so I was thinking, I'm like, what if I put this on? I wonder if it would make the powder like last longer. Boy, I was so right. <laughs> um, it, I don't know about brightening power because this is like a brightening face primer, but just, you know, helping the foundation stick to your face is you know something you always want and it helps with the coverage which is nice um my next thing is from hard candy and it's their tiki bronzer oh my god that was blinding it's their tiki bronzer and i've been using this as a highlight lately i don't usually use highlights i don't know why i've just kind of been starting using them now i have it on today but I've been wearing this makeup like all day, so I don't know if you can really tell, but it's a really nice, you know, powder for a highlight. I don't know if you can even tell anything. No, you can't. Okay. Stupid lighting. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice, you know, baked bronzer. You don't need a lot to really get a good highlight finish that you want, and you know, it's pretty affordable. It's Walmart. Um, speaking of face powders, we're going to go for one that's probably not so as affordable. And this is from the Riri Hearts MAC collection. Oh, look, there we are. Do you see us? Hi. Um, but this is the Bronzer and Blush Duo in Hibiscus Kiss. I bought this a while ago. This is the only product I got out of the collection. But it is really nice. I've been taking my brush and kind of sweeping it more in the blush area. But, you know, it still picks up some of the bronzer. And it kind of reminds me of the Benefit Rockateur bronzer or face powder blush thingamajig. Because it does have that bronzy kind of look while also being pink. And then I've been using the bronzer to contour, you know, on my cheeks if I have this out. Instead of taking out my other bronzer that I use for contouring. Um, the bronzer is not as dark as I would like it to be, but, you know, when it's, when it's blended in with the rest of my foundation and what everything, it is actually really nice. And the blush is beautiful. It's like this pink, pinkish, corally color. 
it's really nice, you know, and it, it transfers really well and it blends out really nicely. So I've been loving this product lately. Um, I have three eyeshadowy things. The first two I'm actually wearing at my eyes right now, and I did get a request to do a look or a makeup tutorial on this coppery look, so expect that to be coming. And these colors are Max Coppering, which is a shadow that matches my shirt, so it's a really dark copper color. And the L'Oreal Infallible in Amber Rush, which is just a shimmery, coppery pigment. It's really pretty. Um, so yeah, be expecting a tutorial on this look coming soon. Um, and then my third eyeshadow thing is my Vice 2 palette. Since I haven't made a Friday Favorites, you know, last Friday, uh, I have been using this for my, well, I used it for my Halloween costume. Oh, it's beautiful. I've been basically taking a combination of this shadow here, which is derailed, which is like a brownish gray color. And then I put Lovesick over it, which is just a really, like, it's a black with a lot of sparkle in it. So I put that over the top, and then I took a mixture of Betrayal and Voodoo, which are two purple colors. One is very, like, sh bright purple, and the other is, like, a darker purple. And then just put those in the crease, and then took this dope color here, which is a nice whitish pink, and used it as a highlight. I wanted to do a tutorial for that look, too, so I may do that, because I really liked how my eyeshadow looked. And my roommate is going home this weekend, so maybe I can crack out some tutorials while she's gone. Um, so yeah, that was a thing. And then I have a bunch of lip products. I have the first one, which I've actually been wearing today. It kind of worn off over the day, but, you know... That's how lipstick goes. It's a L'Oreal lipstick. It comes in the gold packaging. And it's in number 417 Peach Fuzz. And it's just a very peachy nude color. Um, it goes really pretty with this coppery look that I just did. Because it does have some color, but it's not like completely nude, you know? So, yeah. And then these are the colors that I wore with my costume with that dark eye makeup. I wore the Color Riche Le Matte uh, Matte Lipstick in the color She's So Matte. And it just looks like this. It is super mattifying, but it's also very drying. So I paired it with the Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Gloss in the color All Day Seduction. And it makes your lips look super red and luscious. And I love it with that look. When that tutorial, I'm going to make that tutorial. That's going to happen. And when that comes out, I'm going to put these lip colors with it. So you'll see how that looks. Um, and then my last lip color is from the Honest Company. It's just a lip balm and it's in lavender mint. I got this out of a glossy box like who knows how long ago. And since I finished my Burt's Bees lip lip balm. I wanted to have another one sit at my desk, so I just, you know, found this one and have been using it. And it's really, really nice. I, I like the lavender and the mint combination. Um, my last Friday favorites is this CoverGirl mascara. It's the Professional Remarkable Washable Waterproof Mascara. You heard me right, ladies. Washable waterproof. I actually heard about this mascara from, what is her name, Emily Nicole? She runs Beauty Broadcast Express. If you don't know who that is or what that is, totally search it on YouTube. It is a great beauty channel. She does a lot of reviews on different products, and that's how I found this mascara, and it's really nice. It's a really basic, you know, there's nothing too fancy about it. It's just a basic mascara, but it layers up. Like, usually I like my mascara to be really lengthening. I don't really care about the volume. I just want a lot of length. And this delivers both. You know, you can build it up, and it's really easy to take off, and it's waterproof. So, you know, and this, I feel like this is a mascara that doesn't get a lot of hype. I mean, look at the packaging. Have you ever seen this around? Like, I had never seen it until I saw it on Beauty Broadcast. And then I went and picked it up, and it's, like, amazing. So... 
you know, you learn things from their reviews, and, you know, it's just, it's a nice mascara, and I've been loving it, you know, for the past couple weeks. Um, but yeah, those are all my Friday favorites. I'm sorry it's been like two weeks since I've posted, you know, a, f a Friday favorites. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and let me know. And then leave a comment down below letting me know what you've been loving this week. Um, because, you know, we all love everything and hate some stuff too, but... What am I saying? I'm rambling. Okay. Um, but yeah, leave that down below in the comments. I'd love to read what you guys have been loving, of, you know, and stuff. So yeah, until my next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.